Right, Saturday morning, about 10 o'clock, sunstroke cloud, 25 degrees, and it's only going to get hotter. But we've got an exciting new plant, and plus we'll do a little update on the stuff that's been growing in the polytunnel, because it's going to be coming down soon. So we've got to make room for this sunken sitting area. Let's get into what we've got going. So we've brought, I bought a few plants. I sold a lot of plants, still got a lot left. Still got a few listings on Facebook for anyone local. Um, what we've got is the, uh, we've got here the Lucacia Thai Giant. These are the ones we grow from seed been slow but they're starting to to put on some leaves now these are going to be nothing this year I'll overwinter them and hopefully get a good good sized plants to go out in the garden next year they ain't going to come up much this year I don't think they need a, a good start and they've been a bit slow a bit slow than I'd have liked anyway so we've got quite a few tetrapanics pups um, coincidentally, these are the ones I pulled out of the uh, patio area that are just grown in the sand, and they seem to have taken. I've I done this uh, on a video a week or so ago, and this one did have some roots. This one didn't, but yeah, it's still initially sort of died off a bit, but um, new leaf pushing out. So even with no roots, as long as there's a bit of a root base there, it seems to seems to take yeah so we've got a lot of uh collocatio escalente still still coming up some of them have been really slow to come up but they're still still coming still popping so even though some will be quicker than others and some this one i'd imagine the, the original tube has sort of rotted off but then we've got the side shoot so even if it starts to go a bit soft you know, with the heat there that still could grow so don't give up on them yeah so they're doing okay um got a few giant bird of paradise some smaller ones so i'm just getting them acclimatized to the light before they go outside so they'll just sit in the border in there any gaps i've got Yes, I'm not, just a sort of update really. I've got the um what's this the coal miner. That seemed to overwintered alright, just kept dry in the pot. Lots of bits popping out on that, starting to, to go, so I'll get that outside soon. Um some of the alocacias have been slow, but they're starting to push out leaves now. Still got a few gingers gingers in there. I've got a nice uh, variegated ginger there. And sort of a standard green i don't know what types they are I couldn't tell you um right so let's get to the point we brought a a new plant i know this is featured on another channel youtube channel but this is the uh, colocasia redemption it was 29.99 a small nine centimeter pot um, quite pricey, but this particular alocasia, sorry, colocasia, has only literally um, been available in the UK the last month or so. And there's various places, I think this was from Coles Nursery online. Um, so it was £6 delivery, so 36 quid all in all. And um, very small pots, so obviously I'll pot straight away, but luckily. We had two plants in the pot. Let's get them out. There's one. And there's the other. So yeah, there's two good size. I say good size, I mean they're they're small, but you know, they're not plug size. Um yeah, so we're looking at these. 
So from this one little pot, we had two plants. So we've given them a, they were two separate plants. They weren't sort of attached or anything. So we've given them their own pots, a bit bigger, nice rich compost, plenty of uh, uh, chicken manure pellets in there and feed in the compost. Because, uh, you know, we are sort of a month into summer now, so we need to get these going. So they're going to stay in the, the poly tunnel as long as the poly tunnel stays up. May only be another week or two, but we'll see on that account. But um, So what's so special about these, you're asking? Well, if you don't know, I'll show you the picture in a minute. But um, So at the minute, we're just sort of looking at a, I don't know, mid-green purpley leaf. Obviously, they come out green and darken up as they go. Um, I will say I brought these. I think I ordered them. Might have been Friday last week, and they turned up Wednesday. So it's now Saturday. So I've had them for three, two, three days. I did only just separate them yesterday. And to be fair, a collar case you don't really um, travel well let's say they don't, they don't do well in post but to be fair these ones are okay i mean i expect the the, the older leaf to be dying off as what they do anyway any hold maybe three or four leaves at best um since i've had them they have opened up a new leaf each and like i say so at the minute they're just sort of a mid to dark leaf but as they mature that's what you're going to get so it's a glossy black leaf with that real um, fluorescent if you like pink veining really quite special and yeah I've seen them that obviously they've been available in the US for a while but like I say probably the first year they've been available in the UK so I thought I'd take the opportunity so Again, 30 quid, two plants, 15 quid each. I'm sure they'll they'll pop at some point as well. So hopefully by the end of the season, we'll have a few plants and we'll try various means of uh, overwintering them. So that's the beauty of when you've got multiples, you can try different scenarios and overwintering. And these have no, these are obviously tissue culture. They've got no bulbs on them yet or corms. So we're going to see what happens by the end of the, the season where they, they get a corn. So dry store may not be an option. I may well try this one in a pot dry over winter and bring one in and try to keep it just ticking over indoors. And we'll see which one works out best. Um, yeah, so if you look at the information on the tag... We'll get some harsh shadows here, hang on. So it is saying US hardiness zone 7 to 10. Well, to be honest, you can't really go much on that. I mean, I don't trust hardiness zones, especially not in the UK, because it's going to be very different to the US. And uh, we're well, not going to go into the whole zone thing, but... You know, I am officially a UK growing zone 8B and I've had a lot of um, success over in Winton, a lot of different types of collocation in the ground. I have got sandy soil, so it does, it's quite free draining, but it does get wet in winter here, wet and cold. Um, so I don't know, this is the, the wet that's going to rot them out. So I may, may well try one on the ground, but yeah, I wouldn't trust this. You think, oh, if it's hardy down to zone seven, that's, that's going to be a pretty hardy plant. Not necessarily, not in the UK, very different to US. Um, you could probably knock a, a, at least a full zone off for the UK compared to the US, I'd imagine. And of course, we don't get the, the, the heat that the US get in the summer. So you're not going to get as an impressive plant by the end of the season, but hopefully we will get some sort of a uh, leaf that resembles the picture there. It does look quite special. 
but yeah that's one we'll we'll keep you updated on and see how that does all right i think we'll leave it there thanks for watching